Well, hi, welcome to Custom Works. I'm Clint Allen, and to sump or not to sump? What's a sump? Do I need one? Well, hang around. Thanks for hanging around through that. So today we're covering sumps and basically what is a sump? Well, it's a unit installed in the bottom of the fuel tank designed to work with gravity and not against it. So you're sitting there going, well, should I get one? Why should I get one? Well, let's get a little bit in depth here of what's going on. So on a 7.3, uh, there is a draw straw pickup for supplying fuel that is sucked from the up pump under the truck located at the frame underneath the driver's seat area if you're not uh, privy to that yet. Uh, and it is common for that draw straw filter to get plugged up. There's two little filters in it. Uh, they get plugged up with you know debris and articles that come from your local fill up because uh, they probably don't change the filters over there and diesel in the United States for some odd strange reason is very, very dirty. So the straw filters get uh, plugged up and for the draw filter at the base uh, of the straw, there, as your straw comes down, there's a large plastic pickup unit that also has a little screen on it and those over time break off. So the end result is, is you're thinking you've got no problems, you're going down the road and you get down to about an eighth of a tank and you run out of fuel. But before that happens, privy to you is you're sucking in air, which ends up going to your injectors and that is very, very bad for direct injection injectors. You get air at the tip as it's feeding and firing and it heats the heck out of the tip and ruins the injector. So installing a sump allows all the fuel in the tank to be used. Uh, you will get more extra uh, fuel usage and when you install this sump, if you would ever go that direction, most of them, are you're drilling in a big enough hole where it actually can reach up inside of the tank and not only will you be able to clean it out then in case there's any extra plastic that ended up in there in the drilling process but you can reach up to where the filler tube comes into the tank and actually take off three to six inches of it and you'll be able to put a little bit more fuel in both between the sump and the modification of cutting off that in the tank tube, you could add up to three extra gallons. So there's a small benefit there. Um, basically, the sump setup is going to really save the fuel pump. Um, it's not going to heat up as much. It's not going to have to suck as hard through the straw system. Um, gravity is now with the sump taking over and forcing the fuel now. Uh, also, you never need to worry about cleaning these pesky little filters that are in the draw straw pickup, um, which involves dropping the tank. And, you know, what a way of wrecking your Saturday removing a tank, cleaning out filters, putting it back in. Um, this right here is, is a saver for that. Um, you're really gonna increase the amount of flow going to the pump. Uh, that draw straw pickup is under 3 eighths of an inch, 
where if you put a sump in, you're going to have about a half inch line leading to the sump. Uh, this is just a really good positive way to go. Um, but keep in mind that those two little filters are there for a reason on the draw straw. So you're going to want to consider if you're installing the sump to put in a pre-pump, pre-up pump filter, fuel filter. And a two micron filter is more than adequate. You know, we don't have to get crazy here putting on a 10 micron or a 30 micron. Uh, that, that's just fine. And once again, uh, the fuel filter itself is something that is going to be installed on the frame. You're going to be able to easily get at it to switch it out in the future. It's just positive the whole way. Um, one of the things when you're installing the sump, one of those considerations and things to watch out for is when you're making the hole. Uh, some of these allow you to use your own hole saw. Some of them come with a hole saw. Some of them come with just a platelet that you put on there and then you gotta, you know, saw it out. You have to be darn sure that you do not make the hole larger than what the sump allows because it will have leaking over time then, if not right away. The ones with the hole saws, you gotta make sure you're going straight up. And there's a lot of people that like to start straight up and then they turn it a little bit and they turn it a little bit and they turn it a little bit to go faster. What you're doing is, is you're ovaling. That's not what you want to do. So other considerations, well, keep in mind if you go the route of a sump is you're going to have a chunk of aluminum now hanging off the bottom of your fuel tank, which can get damaged and start leaking if you like to go off-roading, uh, overlanding, behind, you know, <laughs> at time of this video, whatever you want to call it, uh, whatever uh, the new fandangled word is, but either which way, if uh, you take your vehicle off of pavement into something that is not meant to be driven on, uh, that's something to keep in mind there. Uh, you certainly don't want to bottom out on your gas tank and then have all the diesel fuel leaking out as you're trying to get back to civilization. So that would, uh, you know, <laughs> that would really suck. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is if you're going to go this route, just spend the extra money and get the push-pull connector for the uplift pump instead of going through and putting a hose clamp on it and over time maybe it'll work loose you know if you're gonna go the route just you know spend that little extra money get the correct half inch line and get the push pull and it just makes life so much easier and maintenance free so the insulation location uh, make sure that when you're installing this that if you install it and it lands right below the return line what we don't want to see here is aeration and cavitation getting back through the pump up into your motor and back into those injectors anytime you get air at the injectors it is a bad bad thing so let's cover those two aeration when the fuel comes back and diesel fuel is that you know kind of that jelly kind of situation and it's shooting from the return of the motor back into the gas tank it's going to bubble up so we don't want to have that happening and sucking it back through the sump and cavitation, depending on the time of the year, is not the same as aeration. Cavitation is a situation where hot fuel is being pumped back into the tank, immediately drawn back out again, ran through the pump, gotten hotter, and what happens is it vaporizes. And then that ends up back going through your injectors and wrecking them once again. So. If you get into a situation where you have 
installed your sump and you are too close to the return line, you know, chill out. It's not that big of a deal. Get yourself a compression fitting, a 90 degree, and get that fuel return about 12 inches is going to be more than adequate away from your sump pickup. Um, basically, uh, you know, in closing, there, there's not a whole lot to cover here. Um, is there a company, you're asking, you know, hey, Clint, is there a company that you think they all got their positives. None of them really have any negatives. It all depends on what, it, it, basically what you're gonna get sold on. Uh, some of them have uh, one bolt that holds them to the tank. Some have two, some have three, some have eight, some have 16. It really all depends on what you're sold on. The biggest thing is, is once again, when you're installing this, make darn sure that you install your holes correctly and they're small and they barely fit when you install it. You don't want to have slop here. Slop is bad. Slop is going to be leaks and you're going to be just throwing a fit out in the driveway. So this is the most critical part of this install. But Basically, this is what we're covering here, and I hope you've learned something today, and you take it easy, and you have a good day. You're still here yet? It's over. Oh, I know. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, the little bell, you know, the little bell, and that'll tell you every time I post a new video. Also go root around in my previous videos and you'll find a lot of interesting content. Until then, go home. Oh, oh yeah. The garbage can's over there, you know, don't be making a mess, you know, clean up after yourself. Go, go.